Hello folks, welcome back to Fluffy Flamingos, a channel where we teach you guys magic tricks. This could be using like cards. As you can see, I have some over here, another 100 to be exact on a display over here on the floor. You could use objects like watches, rings, or just your brains. As we've discussed a couple times on this channel, sometimes you just don't need anything. And sometimes that's the most powerful magic that you can do. I'm sorry I missed uh, a couple days ago I was supposed to upload, but I kind of like moved into my room. <laughs> I've been staying in this room, but it hasn't really been my room. But now, you know, I bought a desk and I'm like whipping out some of my old stuff from my last office. Uh, there's our flamingo back there. So we're starting to make this look more like my space. On the day that I had off, which is the day that I usually film, I was mostly moving in and not really <laughs> filming. So I'm doing it now in the middle of the week. Today, just as I teased about a week and a half ago, we're gonna be working with some duct tape. So this is the duct tape trick. I taught it once in the past, um, but again, I've been remaking some stuff so that it's solidified and better for you guys to watch and like actually learn some stuff. So for this trick, you will be needing some duct tape. Uh, and you're also gonna need a Sharpie so that we can have the spectator sign the card. So yeah, duct tape is pretty fun. We're gonna need some duct tape for this trick. Uh, basically, you just pick out a heckler from the audience and you wrap them up in duct tape and throw them off the stage. I'm joking. So I'll show you guys what this trick actually looks like. Here's a performance of me doing this trick for you guys and hopefully you guys like it enough to stick around and learn how to do this trick. Alrighty, folks. Here is the performance to this trick. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I got a, a new tattoo and a new tattoo. These guys are kind of cute, if I do say so myself. But anyway, back to the important part. Okay, so we're gonna use some vintage bicycle cards I found at Walmart long time ago. Well, the effect is pretty simple. We'll just riffle through and have the spectators say stop whenever they want. So let's say right here. And we have them take a look at that card. We'll cut it to the bottom. I don't want to know what it is. So we're going to hold it out like this. We're going to use a Sharpie and we're going to put a signature on this card. So let's say it's for Melissa. And I'm going to try and spell this upside down and really bad. Oh, okay. No room. His name is Mel. I'm gonna hurt. Okay. So there's Mel. <laughs> and I, I guess it's okay if I do see it for the sake of performance, but in the performance, I would not see this in real life. So we're gonna put Mel into the middle. So you can cut it up as much as you'd like. It really doesn't matter where you stop, but if you give it a sec, scroll through, you'll notice we have a piece of duct tape on the back of one of our cards, possibly an indicator. So we'll see if I was right. Was it? No, <laughs> there's not even a signature on this one, dude. I mega failed. Okay. What if we take off the duct tape though? So give me a sec. <laughs> okay. Gonna peel this guy back. Oof. Check it out. On the back of the card, four of spades. In fact, this four of spades right here. What's up, Mel? So that is the duct tape trick. So that was a duct tape trick performance. You can use duct tape or like masking tape. Uh, you just need something that will be able to cover the card. Something to note is that when you're using a deck of cards, make sure that they're not black because it'll be really hard for the Sharpie to show up on the back of a black card. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, concerning like what materials you're gonna need. This trick is a lot of fun to perform. I enjoy it. Just because I don't do it often doesn't mean that it's a bad trick. It's just interactive. You use an item that most people have never seen incorporated into magic and has a really great twist ending as you guys just saw. Um, so yeah, let's talk about prep. Let me grab some cards. Um, we'll, we'll use the same ones. Uh, these are really cool, like retro bicycle playing cards. 
I don't know. I think they're really cool. Um, this actually boggled me though, because these should be blue cards, right? But you ever trick yourself? This is a double backer on top for a different trick. I got myself. I took these out. I was like, man, some blue cards. I like that. That's going to look sick. And then I pulled them out there just all red. <laughs> so the prep for this trick, uh, I said earlier you need a Sharpie, but that's actually for two reasons. One is to have the spectator sign the card. And then the other reason is so that we can write the card on its own back. So we're gonna change angles real quick, just so you guys can get the full learning experience without it being too janky. All right guys, let's hop into this tutorial. Uh, so this trick is a lot of fun, like I mentioned, but uh, the prep is really simple as well. So another nice plus to this trick. So basically pull out a random card that you wanna use. Let's say it's the six of hearts. You're gonna flip that sucker upside down and you're gonna write six of hearts on the back, okay? So here it is, six of hearts of hearts. Okay, let me, uh, let me get rid of this Sharpie real quick. Okay, so here's what we're working with. Six of hearts on the back, okay? And then you're gonna take a piece of duct tape and you're gonna cover it. Uh, my advice would be don't worry about the creases. <laughs> don't care about how pretty it looks. It's not gonna matter. Try and center it as much as you can so that you do cover the entire drawing on the back. But outside of that, you just slap this guy on the bottom of the deck and we are good to go. That is the prep. So we've gone over riffle forces in the past, which is where you riffle and then force them to pick a card, okay? So that's how the, this trick starts off, okay? Cards on bottom, cut it into the center, keep a break, and then do your riffle force, show them the card, or you can cut it to the bottom and hand it to them and have them sign the card. So let's say this person's name is, alrighty. So Ingmar <laughs> is gonna help us with this effect. And uh, in the performance, there really was no way for me to not see the card before. Uh, I mean, I could have done some crazy <laughs> signature and not known what it is, but in in performance, you would not see what's happening. So you would just kind of, you would show them the card like this and then cut it to the bottom and then hand it to them like this and tell them to sign the bottom card, right? So here we are with Ingmar. Um, when they're done, they can just flip the deck upside down and hand it back to you, or you can tell them to cut it in uh, because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter where the card ends up uh, because it's just gonna like mysteriously appear, you know? So the position has no uh, consequence. It really doesn't matter. So once you're, once you finish cutting it in, uh, you're gonna do whatever gesture you want and you're going to look through the cards. Okay, so spread through you're like, oh my God, is that? Is that what I think? Oh my God, it's duct tape. That's crazy. These cards don't normally come with duct tape. This is so rare. So we already know that this is their card. It says Ingmar, <laughs> okay? But what you're gonna do is a double lift, okay? You're gonna say, was it the six of spades? Because we haven't seen the card yet. And they'd be like, no, it's not. And I say, okay, well then we can try one more thing. Okay, so you get rid of the rest of the deck. Uh, just leave it to the side. And you're gonna very slowly peel off this duct tape and make it like very visible to our audience. Okay. And peel that off, make it nice and dramatic. And there is the prediction, six of hearts and we got it right. And then they're gonna freak out for a second. And like I could have sworn I was, I had it correct. And then there's Ingmar. <laughs> so peel that shit off slowly take a good look at it, let them react, and then flip it upside down and show them it was the card, like it changed into their card. Um, so one thing I'll say about this trick um, is that the duct tape does actually, I think, add um, an illusion of permanency. So the fact that the duct tape was on the card when we started and it was a different card, right? So being like, oh, it's the six of spades. So this duct tape indicates that this is the six of spades. So when we take that off, show them the prediction, we're like, oh my God, how'd you do that? And then change the card. The change seems more magical in my opinion, because that duct tape solidifies that permanent, this is the six of spades, because that's where the duct tape was on. So that is the duct tape trick. And uh, 
I hope you guys liked it. All right, guys, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys liked the duct tape trick um, or masking tape trick or whatever you want to call it. Uh, sorry again for missing a couple days ago, but I will be regularly uploading every week on my weekends. Life has just been really crazy this year, so it's been a little hard to stay on top of certain things, but I'm just kind of refusing to let it slide anymore. So again, sorry for missing that. Hopefully this makes up for it and the next episode should be coming out in just also another couple days. Um, what are we doing for next episode? If you guys don't know this about me, like I bring this up every season, like once maybe, but I am a big planner. So here's the entire season five episode list, but okay. So we did episode 15. So the uh, cherry control is finished. And uh, look at that. We just finished the duct tape episode. Next episode, we're gonna be learning some rubber band magic. That'll be fun. Um, I don't know, maybe I should just do a little teaser to keep you guys intrigued. We'll be doing some more mentalism. We're gonna be talking about like copping cards and like stealing cards out of the deck and hiding them. Performing, we'll be learning a card to pocket eventually at some point. Um, we've got a couple of short films coming up, uh, a paranormal magic episode. There's a lot to look forward to, I'm excited. So that's what's in store if that intrigues you, which it should, I think it's pretty badass. Uh, stick around for a couple days and we'll upload the next episode on rubber bands. It's been a pleasure. I've been your teacher, Oliver, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Fluffy Flamingos. Peace.